Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to, uh, I believe this is the seventh uh, installment of the Menagerie Trio live stream concerts here on Facebook Live. Um, this week, we're going to do things a little bit differently than usual. Um, we're still going to play a mixture of solos, duos, and trios for you. Um, but we decided to focus this week on um, some folk music and some popular music as well. So you're going to hear a lot of songs. Um, uh, you might be getting some unexpected surprises later on. Uh, but what I'm going to start with <clears throat> are two um, traditional Japanese folk songs um, that were arranged for solo guitar by the composer Toshio Hosokawa, who is uh, one of the currently one of the foremost um, Japanese composers active today. Um, he arranged these in a style which is very much like a lot of his music, which is that it's it's very slow, um, the textures are very sparse, so there's not a lot of notes happening. There's a lot of empty space, um, and they're very quiet, so I'll try to play into the mic as much as I can. Um, but the two that he chose to arrange, the first I will perform is titled Komori Uta, which means lullaby. Um, and this particular lullaby is called um, Choguku, Choguko Komori Uta, which is um, from the Choguko region in Japan. And the words of the original lullaby um, describe a, a newborn child about a month or so after birth um, being brought by his parents to the shrine um, so they can pray for him, his health and happiness in his life, which was a tradition in Japan. Uh, the second one I'll play is the well-known um, tune Sakura, which means cherry blossom. Um, and the song talks about uh, the the dawning of spring, since the cherry blossoms typically bloom in springtime. So I thought this was a, another good one for uh, tonight's live stream. So this is uh, Komori Uta and Sakura, arranged by Toshio Hosokawa. <clears throat>
everybody. Um, today I am going to be playing um, a Chinese folk tune to go along with the folk tunes that Tom just played. Yeah, my information. Um, so Bright Shang is a contemporary composer who is known for blending traditional Chinese music with the Western classical tradition. This is a lot like the composer Bella Bartok, um, who you heard Shannon and I play a duet from a couple of weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> Shang was born in Shanghai in 1955, and he studied music at universities both in China and in the United States. Um, notably, he met Leonard Bernstein at Tanglewood in 1985, and Bernstein became Shang's mentor until Bernstein's own death in 1990. So Little Cabbage, the piece I'm about to play, is a part of a larger work for solo cello called Seven Tunes Heard in China. Um, like the Britain that I played last week, two weeks ago, I can't remember at this point, but um, how Benjamin Britten wrote that piece, the, the solo cello suites for uh, Mrs. Rostopovich. Oh, hi, Nate. Welcome to the concert. Um, like how Britten wrote for Rostopovich, Bright Chang wrote these pieces for Yo-Yo Ma. They were commissioned um, by uh, a man for his wife, which I think is really sweet. Um, the free, this piece, The Seven Tunes Heard in China, was first performed in 1995, and Little Cabbage specifically is based on a folk song from Hubei province. Um, the lyrics themselves are really sad, so I'm not going to read them, but if you're interested, um, on uh, Shang's website, it has um, information about all of the different movements and all of the lyrics and everything, so you can Google that and read for yourself. So here is Little Cabbage. <laughs> she is. Uh, so up next, Shannon and I have a fun little duet to play. Um, it is by Rose. At that time, ballets were like the pop music that everybody went to go see, to go out and hang and, you know, be seen and, and see some, some fun stuff. And the operas were much more serious. Um, so Lachme, which is the opera that the piece we are about to play is from, was written in 1883, and it is considered to be possibly his masterpiece. Wait, who cannot? Um, tonight the song that we are going to play is called The Flower Duet. It is from Act One of Lachme, and you probably will recognize that this piece is 
you know, you can hear it in commercials, on TV shows, and on movie soundtrack. It's all over the place. Um, and in the opera at this point, Lakme and her servant are singing as they pick flowers down by a river. of our program. Excuse me, Ray. Ray, so sorry. You just can't get comfy. Come <laughs> here. Um, for the next part of our program, we're going to be doing some playing and singing. And we're doing three different songs, all of which are very close to my heart. Um, the first song is Better Together by Jack Johnson. Now, Jack Johnson lives in Hawaii. And he actually was a professional surfer when he was a teenager, but he suffered a prohibitive injury and could not continue surfing. And it was after that that he began making music professionally. Um, he has spent his musical career really prioritizing philanthropy, usually either raising money for the environment or helping people who have been affected by natural disasters. So that's really cool. Um, and today is a very, very special day because today is my sister Jenny's birthday. Happy birthday, Jenny. And um, Jenny introduced me and my family to Jack Johnson's album, In Between Dreams. And this album has, for me, really been a source of comfort and peace in times of deep stress since then throughout my life. And um, to say thank you to her, and also to wish her a happy birthday, here is one of my very favorite songs from that album, Better Together. This whole combination of words I could put on the back of the 
next song is Morning Morgantown by Joni Mitchell. And Joni Mitchell is certainly one of the greatest songwriters of the 20th and into the 21st century. And she's won numerous awards, including several Grammys. And her musical influence across sort of American music in the second half of the century is really undeniable. Um, this song is off of her album, Ladies of the Canyon, which really demonstrates her longstanding friendship with Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, which is a group that my dad really loves. And this is music that Katie and I grew up listening to, and we just really love Joni Mitchell. And um, this is a conversation we've had several times across our friendship and music that we've shared. And so the other day, I was just like singing this song, and Katie was like, we should do that one. So. Um, Without further ado, here is Morning Morgantown. of this part of the program 
is Her Morning Elegance. Now this song is not um, super well known, I think, but I would say that it is my, probably my favorite song. It's always hard, oh, people wow. are like, what's your favorite song? That's a big one. I know, I know, <laughs> but this song has really stuck with me for a, a very long, since I found it, it's been um, a go-to for me. And this song, is by um, an artist who's actually a playwright. Orin Levy is a very accomplished playwright who grew up in Tel Aviv but has lived in the US and in Berlin and worked all over the world. Um, and I think that the song, it seems sad, but in a way, the loneliness that's portrayed in the song is very hopeful and very kind of sweet and beautiful. And um, it really speaks to me in this time where we see all these other people around us and everybody is going through their own unique story and has their own challenges and desires and work that they have to do every day. And um, I think this song really reflects that and helps us recognize the humanity in everybody around us. So I really hope that you enjoy her morning out. Hold on, I loosened my bow. <gasps> I know. <laughs> I have to tighten it. It's a very unique chair, putting a loosened bow on the string to play. I did that once in high school. I played a whole performance with my bow loose. It was terrible. <laughs> okay. Her Morning Elegance.
piece for you tonight um, and if you've been watching the last few weeks we've been playing premieres um, by a composer Edgar Gautain who has been writing short pieces for us each week to perform and this will be the fourth um, the fourth movement of actually a set and it'll be the fourth and final movement of this particular set of pieces which uh, is titled quarantine songs um, and this one is called the goodbye song um, and what he says about this piece is that uh, the title, uh, it gets its title because the melody comes from a song he used to sing uh, with his kindergarten class at the end of class when he was teaching um, at, previously at a school. So I think you'll really like this one, and I think it round out, rounds out the set very nicely. Mm. Thank you. 
Thank you so much again for joining us. It was so much fun to bring these songs to you this evening, and um, we hope you have a great rest of your week, and to see you next Wednesday. Goodbye. Bye.